What's going on, guys? Penguin Zombie here with another episode of Legendary Hiding Spots. And uh, I'm not going to waste your time with any stupid intros. You know how the series works. And today we're going to jump right in. So this first spot we have is in Anarchy Acres, which has been replaced by the golf course as, as of Season 5. But you can still do these methods that I'll show you in the farms uh, in Fatal Fields. So this first spot, you want to get to the top floor, break that floor right there, and then place a floor and edit the back corner, and you can fall down right be behind these hay bales, right? And then you want to edit the floor to be back to normal. You, I recommend doing metal, of course, because you can't look through the, the wood. Um, this is what it looks like from the outside and under. No one is going to find you up here. No one's going to look here. I mean, it's it's a pretty good spot to chill out if, you, if you know, you're hiding from someone or your teammate is bringing you a gun, you need to hide, you know, whatever it may be. Now in episode one, I showed you how to get into these roof, these special kind of roofs that don't have rafters. Um, if you want, you can go check it out. There's more information on that. Uh, but I did want to put this in here because it is a good hiding spot for uh, Fatal Fields. Um, definitely a lot of places where you can hide in the roofs in this game, which makes it pretty good. But our next spot is going to be in the silos. Okay, so you can actually get inside the silos right here. Uh, it's a it's it's a good spot. Um, definitely. Probably wouldn't call it legendary just because a few whacks and, and someone can find you, right? You know, they're checking the loot in there, they want to get the chest, whatever, you know, they can find you pretty easily. But again, not a lot of people know about this spot, so I thought I'd include it in this video. But this is pretty much the only honorable mention on this list. Uh, the rest of the spots are, are definitely hold, you know, uh, worthy of the legendary title. But moving on, uh, our next spot is going to be near. Um, near where anarchy used to be so this is right next to lazy links it is still here as of season five this umbrella shaped quarry and you can go down in here and just like in shifty shafts uh you can go and hide in the rafters right above this double chest spawn so once you climb up there you, you know destroy the wall destroy your trace like your ramps Go in there, place a floor, preferably something not wood, you know, nothing you could see up through. And if you wanted to, you could leave the chest unopened, uh, just for bait, because I, I like, I love ambush spots. Um, you know, it's it's a great element for this game. Um, but, I mean, this series is all about AFK spots, ambush spots, you know, all that. You already know if you watch episode one, but our next... A few spots are going to be in Haunted Hills. Okay, and what makes these spots so good in Haunted is that just like in Episode 1 with Snobby Shores and Greasy Grove, you can get in these roofs, but what makes Haunted special is that not only does it have archways for the doors uh, to make it harder to see the roof from the outside, it also has these clover-shaped windows on both sides that you can see out of. Which makes you, which gives you a really good advantage over someone if you're hiding, and like I said before, if you're waiting for an ambush spot, um, definitely better in my opinion than other places. Now they can see you easier, I guess, uh, because there's holes. But um, in my experience, it's always been you know better. But um, this spot is probably the best spot I found in the entire game. So what you want to do is whack out these stairs in Haunted Hills, the back part of it. And you can actually climb underneath this whole area. It's a great spot. It, it, it's just an amazing spot. And you can fit an entire squad down here. Obviously, I don't recommend having your entire squad in one place. You know, one, one explosive could take them all out. But thing is, you know, if, if your whole squad's low on health, y'all need to heal, or whatever the case may be, you can fit four people down here, or more. Definitely a great spot. I just showed you I reinforced it with all those metal structures. You don't have to do that, because they can just break the floors and go down in there, if they f saw you go down in there. Um, but, again, just added reinforcement for joining a party, going through the PlayStation menus, whatever the case may be. You're going AFK, you're trying to hide, that's why you're watching this video, and this is why I think it's one of the best spots in the game. Totally invisible from the outside. You can put a, a ramp on that wall on the outside and make it seem like you replaced the stone stairs with a metal ramp. Then they wouldn't even think twice about breaking the stairs and then the wall underneath. But um, definitely a great spot. Now our next spot is in the Watchtower near Lonely Lodge. And it's the same strategy as as before right you you edit the stairs to make 
like a yeah the half stairs and then you jump place a floor and this watch these watchtowers are spread all throughout the map there's one next to salty springs i'm sure you all know about it um, but again you can break the stairs from the top and because it is over a chest spawn it's something i really recommend doing if uh you know there's just so many situations where this could be useful um but good amber spot for sure for sure now our next spot is in the mansion near lonely lodge and you can whack out the walls on the sides of the mansion behind the bushes and actually hide down in there and it covers your head completely now this can unlike some of the spots that i show this can be done with any outfit right the dark voyager with the large helmets um you know wh wh whichever whichever outfit you have it definitely covers all of them just because the hedge or the bush is so high up and this can be done on both sides i just wanted to show you what it looks like from the other side so no matter where you're at if someone's healing you you could probably lose them quick um but yeah pretty good spot now our next spot is in the tunnels next to tomato town definitely one of the best spots in the entire game in my opinion now how i found out about this spot was i was watching um almighty sneaky his in one of his streams he found someone hiding up here and i just i couldn't believe how good of a spot it was so i definitely had to take it from his stream um, he wasn't the one hiding in here, but I do want to give credit to Sneaky because I do like him. And anyway, it's a good ambush spot, definitely a good final circle spot. No one is ever going to think twice about, about uh, finding you here. And, and in this replay system, the wall that just passed was broken down, but it like it, it's kind of glitchy, so it showed it was still there. But I did break it down. Uh, you can place walls back there if you wanted to, like the added reinforcement I showed for Haunted Hills. Kind of unnecessary, but pretty good ambush spot. Now this spot is in the factories or whatever you call it next to in between Greasy and Lucky Landing. I don't know really where it is but right above Flush Factory and you can go in this DJ room and go behind the speakers. Very good spot. Just keep in mind that the speakers are wood and pretty much one or two bullets would take it out. Definitely one spring from the pickaxe would take it out. Uh, not a very, not the best tactical spot, but a good hide and seek spot, good spot to go AFK for a few seconds, few minutes, like I said, join the party, whatever. Um, no one's really going to look behind here on purpose, uh, but definitely a good spot, you know, just to chill out. Uh, the next spot is also in these factories, and this can be done with pretty much any bathroom in the game. The reason I did it on this on this location is because as you can see the ceiling there's no ceiling above this bathroom stall and so you can get inside any bathroom stall just by whacking the ceiling and then dropping down in there and placing a floor above you but this has the extended ceiling and then the sink that you can jump on top of to get inside here and like i said before with the mansion spot it doesn't matter what costume you have you can hide in here perfectly and your head won't pop out and your feet won't show so definitely a good spot um I probably wouldn't have the RPG or anything long equipped. I haven't tested that out, so I'm not sure how it looks, but just to be safe, probably wouldn't have that equipped. Um, now, this spot is in Lucky Landing at the big dojo uh, right next to it. So, it's, uh, I've used it before and it worked. That's why I recommend it. Now, obviously, this probably won't work in hide and seek just because the player built structure is like too obvious, but in a final circle game, it is a pretty good spot and you can edit this wall out to be a, a triangle um, having the stair part covered or uncovered that way they won't think twice about it because they think the stairs is a solid piece um, but I mean it is a good spot you can go into this spot through the wall on this room right here the chest room and sometimes it, it's I mean just it's all personal preference I find this a really good spot definitely want to add it in here it's an honorable mention but uh, that's about it, guys. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like the video, and there's definitely going to be an episode 3 coming soon. Uh, it's going to have even better spots than this video, so stay tuned. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you later. Got him. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at that kill feed, boy. How many did you get? Four. Four kills with that, the grenade?